we simplify the Monte Carlo simulation expression? Yes, by taking a, a delta t instead of dt. So that would essentially mean a, an incremental change in time. So for a very small incremental bit of time, uh, what is the change in the stock price? And uh, the incremental time would be arrived at by t minus t by n, where you can clearly see that this is this would be within the brackets. Uh, t is the current date and uh, t is the target date. So capital T is the target date, t is the current date. So this gives me a sense of the period over which I'm 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 looking at the stock price change. And this is the horizon which is under watch. And uh, here, since we are trying to get a sense of what the VAR is, and VAR is a topic that you would get introduced to in subsequent uh, sessions. Uh, so we will not spend too long a time on, on this concept for now. The, so the small change in stock price, delta ST will be equal to ST minus 1, which is the stock price as it was. Uh, into mu delta t where this is the drift term this is the volatility and look at this yeah, i think we are using an uh, another variable out here epsilon which we will assume is uh, is is normally distributed so this could be taken as a standard normal variable and uh, this out here is square root of delta t so we know that the new stock price shall be the old stock price plus uh, ST into delta ST where this is being taken as the standard normal variable. 